but uh, before we start, sorry about that, uh, we had a sound problem. Uh, before we start, we have a, a disclaimer here. Uh, please, it's very important. All traders uh, should be aware, not everyone business and it is uh, thanks if you don't know what you're doing so please uh, be aware of the disclaimer uh, for uh, first uh, I wish everybody have a, a very nice um, uh, summer uh, break uh, I had a nice summer break relax doing not much but uh, relaxed uh, staying away from the computers and uh, we received a lot of email where I was but uh, uh, of course I took a few days off uh, usually in the trading it is very important to know when you need to stay away from the uh, trading and when you need to uh, trade it's not uh, like a buffet table you just uh, log in and uh, make money and go home uh, sometimes you have to understand the rhythm, like uh, in the middle of July, all the way to the middle of August, the market, there is not much going on. And uh, this is where a lot of people are on a holiday or taking a break uh, because there is no volume. Uh, being having an auto trade doesn't matter which auto trade, whether it's ours or somebody else, does not mean uh, you're, you're going to fly to the moon with it when there is no volume and there is the market not moving. You I don't think you got yourself covered uh, even on a, a slow day around the Christmas, uh, around the summer. Don't think yourself you got covered because you got an automated trade. Also, an automated trade requires movement in the market to make your ticks. So if the market not moving, where the ticks going to come from? So this is a very important uh, uh, thing. So you have to uh, understand the rhythm in the market and when to trade and when not to trade. As long as you don't know the rhythm, there is nothing you can do with this business. The end of the day, you have to understand the rhythm and you have to understand when to trade, when not to trade, and when to stay on the side and when to take it easy and uh, use some time for whatever amuse you, whether it be in with the family or whatever you do. But you cannot just log in anytime you feel like it. We have to go with the wind. We have to go with the market the way the market uh, setting it up. Uh, for the ones who have not uh, been with us before, what we are doing, we are sharing uh, the the signal uh, uh, entries with everybody to the public. We're not charging for it, and we are not uh, collecting any emails or anything. I don't know who is out there, but we got a lot of email telling us and thank us because uh, shape because today my first day behind the computer uh, after a summer break but uh, i received a lot of emails telling me sam you're the only one out of all the partners you're the only one can show your auto trade on the same time frame and uh, you can show us in the live market where the rest of them they sit in the corner and they come out at night and they want to show only the chart after the fact. So we are the only company I know. We are sharing life and we're not sharing one little stinky chart. And the second day we use a different time frame. We are using the same time frame from day one is the one minute on the price action. The price action here. Uh, for the ones who don't know how the system works, uh, there is, I'm using three different, and um, uh, I will be uh, covering some of those systems uh, with you. What you are looking at on the, on the top here is your market analyzer based on one contract, one contract only. And this is an automated trade, uh, uh, ATM, full automated or an ATM strategy. All of them have the same entry. All of them have the same target. I personally like uh, the, the ATM strategy uh, because I can control my targets. Because right now, as an example, 
we have the YM. If you are on a fully automated trade, the YM will exit at uh, 52, 52 even. But because the system is going to update the target, it's not a black box when you are using an ATRs or MACDs, and uh, then you put 10 ticks for the uh, first target and then 20 ticks for the second target. No. If this market is flying or if this market is moving or if this market is trending, uh, we're going to get a new update on that trade. One of the things traders do not understand uh, that amateur trading don't understand, uh, things can change while you are in the trade. So when you are auto trading, things sometimes is not just a black and white, and there is no rules in this uh, business. Um, one thing is, the more you put your life account on the table, it's like you're sitting in a blackjack. When you are putting your life account on a table against somebody else, if you do that very often, during the daytime, you're going to lose. Because you cannot win every time the cards shoveled. You cannot. And this is the same story here. So when we are catching a trend, we are catching a trend, and it will be the trade for today. Going in and out of the market 24-7, this is not healthy. You can, you can say whatever you want. You can brush it. You can say it's rubbish. But at the end of the day, after many years, you'll find out the easy way or the hard way that you cannot trade 24-7. You cannot do that. I cannot do that anymore. I'm 60 years old. Uh, I know in the morning I can trade the DAX manually, but uh, after two, three hours, I get tired. My brain starts smoking. My nose smoke coming out of my ears and my nose and start making mistakes. Even on an auto trade, you have to understand when this market is moving, it doesn't matter which auto trade you have, you are into the money. When the market is a chop, you're not in the money. It's not the auto trade. It's you don't know how to run the business so things is when we grab a trend we're not gonna let it go because we don't know when we're gonna be banging on another trade again so this is exactly you have to think about it you are sitting and on that trade and you don't know when is your next winning trade so we have to maximize each trade by trade and minimize the ones go south as soon as possible, make a decision because you cannot simply, there's really a lot of misled about that. Simply, you cannot do that. Of course, when I'm gone, uh, I snoop around the YouTube and I was laughing because it's become a jerk. It's become a joke uh, that if somebody opened 100 the chart, at the end of the day, yes, he will have one chart or two chart or, or out of 100 chart yes you might gonna have 10 chart that did make it today what about the other 90 and but this is not the way to trade the business what you're looking at is one minute and it's only one minute and one minute only and it is all market I challenge anyone, I challenge anyone, anyone in this business can put one minute chart and put all the instruments, the future instruments on one minute and put it live from every trader and let him see the result. I challenge everyone in this business. They never can do it, and they never will. 90% they cannot show the same even a chart two days on the road. If you wanted to get in into this reality, and if you want to get do something with your life, you have to understand that half of it has to be manual, and the other half, it has to be 
uh, management. What we are looking at here is a three different automated trade. We have the price action. What you're looking at at the market analyzer is calculating everything for you. The price action is the target. It's telling you where to enter. You can automate it or ATM strategy. This is the, the puzzle goes with the market analyzer and it's all automated. The reason I like the ATM strategy because I can control my trade and maybe there is much more into it like what I have done right now. I don't want it to be on the target. I wanted to extend it because I don't know when I'm going to be able to bang on the YM one more time today. So the reason is because this market is going to spike one time a day. I don't know if it's 9.30, 8.30, 10 minutes before the market is open. So when this market is trending, we are going to try to get the bite out of it and suck the juice out of that trade. The same story here, it is, it gives you the new signal with the first column right there. Giving you the safe entry, the safe entry, which a lot of traders do not understand, is based on the pullback re entry, which I have been doing this since when I was in Switzerland in the late uh, 80s, early 90s. This is the only thing uh, it is working and it's been working. And I have seen a lot of people come in to this business and go with all kind of ideas. But identify trend, pullback re entry, it is the, the, the most effective. Another thing I will be probably tomorrow reveal how we're going to be able to trade the, the uh, uh, reversal. I've been talking a lot about it and I will be uh, uh, revealing some of the tricks on the reversal because also there is a reversal. There is money in the reversal, uh, probably much more than the trend, but you have to be an advanced trader to reverse. So what we have here is the same story. Uh, on that three different automated system and gives you the entry. Calculate itself and go back and confirm those numbers. As you see here, here's your safe re-entry point. So most of the your market is going back to the re-safe entry. So you're not creating anything and we don't want any trader uh, to make a decision. During those years, we find out you let the trader make it this is going to fall right, right to through his head. So we don't want the trader to make a decision anymore. We wanted the trader to follow the steps and follow how to filter those signals. That's all what he needs to do. We don't want to put him in a room teaching him anything because Today is in that condition. Tomorrow is going to be on a different condition so that uh, the trader is going to fall right through his head the minute you turn your back on him. You follow those signals, and then if you wanted to take the signals, you have the entries here. As an example, we have yes, entry price at 279.850. Your target is 28.40. The system is already up to 38 ticks, 30 ticks. Right now, based on the last signal, based on one minute, based on one contract, total of 486 takes in the profit. And we can play that game every single day. And now I'm back from the summer and I am willing to go every single day. And you will see on the, I'm, I will be putting it ahead of time where you can go ahead and log in. And, and and you can see day after day, this things, how much it makes or how much it lose. Right now we are at the 480 and it takes into the profit base on one minute again. One minute folks, every day, one minute. Not uh, those kind of lollipop chart uh, line break and Renko bars and we will show the Renko bars uh maybe tomorrow but i want to stay on the one minute and it will stay that price action on one minute and then you have the target you have the number of takes from that entry signal 
and it tells you when the target hit, and then you have your trailing stop. Your trailing stop is not, your trailing stop is based on a fib line. Floor and fibs is not a dummy trailing stop. Go in those sessions sometimes, you see the trailing stop move back. Only company, we have a trailing stop move backward. It doesn't move a lot backward, but it moves exactly when you are trading live. And then you see this market coming to your side, then you say, okay, I'm going to pull in a little bit back and give it a little space. The trailing stop recalculate where you need to pull back in. One of the customers, not one of the guys are following. He said, Sam, this is the closest I have seen for an institutional trading. And it is. It is. Is immediately giving you the number. Where is the re-entry number on the uh, on the YM? It's gonna be a re-entry number right there, right in front of you. Doesn't don't need a genius or a brilliant trader to see where is the re-entry number. It's right there. Put it on your chart. Fifty one fifty six. You're very welcome to follow those signals as long as we're not responsible for you. Uh, we cannot guarantee you anything. Uh, the only thing, if you want to follow, you're very welcome to follow on a sim. But whatever you do with it, we're not responsible. We're not getting paid. We're not uh, promising you anything. But we just share in what we have for free. Take it or leave it. Uh, the same system here, we are using it on the Forex. Uh, the Forex, we are using a 10K, 10,000. We're not using those big contracts. We are using 10K. <laughs> Thank you, Rego. <coughs> we have a customer saying welcome back. We were hammered, Rego, uh, with a lot of email uh, about uh, where are you, Sam? And then we have people calling me every day or sending me, aren't you back yet? And it was only seven days off. Anyway, this is the... Uh, the the same story here on the Forex. It tells you the entry, the buy signal, and the sales, and the target, the trading stop. You can automate, or you can. Now, you know, there is a lot of misread and there is a lot of misleading and i cannot um, say about this compliment the one i got from one of my traders but of course when somebody showing in the summertime all his, all his chart made uh, thousands of dollars on july or august there is something wrong in there absolutely and he have probably 100 chart and they do rego they sit on the side and they only come out at night and not come out at daytime like a dracula they come out at night and show in some charts after the fact and brag about it you want to brag come here live front of everybody from every trader every trader come in every guy want a challenge come in show the traders your system on one minute and put all the instruments on bring them on for those guys getting paid under table to book some companies and brave some companies, all those guys that are back asking us if we allow them back in. I challenge anyone can do that. If you're not interested in the future or if you're not interested in the Forex, I can be really related to you sometimes. If you don't know what to do, then you are in trouble. Here is your stock. Those stocks, are based on 100 each. You can feed your system and activate your automated trade on 100 each, which that's what I used to do in the stocks. I was a heavy player uh, on the uh, on the stocks, especially I made a tons of money on Motorola and uh, Intel and AMD. And of course, there is a lot of tricks with that because like, when I bought Intel, I short out AMD. 
and it's the opposite competitor. Uh, and then why? Because when the market dropping, I was making good money on the AMP. And when the market going up, the, everything has to do with computer from a graphic card, NVIDIA, all of them, all of them. I was in them heavily, uh, Motorola, um, all of them. You know, uh, when I sort out Apple back then, also the last, uh, uh, when I sort out a Apple last time also, I mean, it was very good. So you always can buy it long or short. But one of the things is uh, with this business, a lot of people try to avoid uh, talking about it. Whether you are trading a future or you are trading stocks or you are trading Forex. First of all, let me simplify that. I think I have an office somewhere. Okay, yeah, here it is. In this business right now, we have a problem. Our problem right now, very unqualified trader coming into this business. They should not call themselves traders, honestly. Uh, with all the respect to everybody. Because first of all, there are lack of money, lack of experience. Um, minus money, minus experience, is not equal to success, it's equal to big banana, actually. So here's the problem, they overmerge yourself and uh, they don't calculate the risk in this business and then they get in trouble and they get their feeling hurt because they have 50,000. They wanna make 100% out of the $3,000 every day. And that is not gonna happen, not today and not tomorrow, you have to earn it. And then when you try to put common sense to this guy, he says, what's wrong with your auto trade? Okay. Great. Then he come back after six months, he's broke. You cannot deny the fact is the risk is uh, in this business. And you have to realize is you cannot make 100% if you have a three or $5,000 account. You cannot do that. You simply cannot do that. Especially if you are an experienced trader, you don't know what you're doing. You're going to get in, in a lot of trouble when the market is slow, when the market is moving, when the market. This it requires a little tension by any customer or a trader. One of the biggest mistake is he wanted to overtrade himself because he have 3000 or 5000. Now he is going to be all over the place and trading from six o'clock in the morning till four o'clock in the evening this is wrong because first of all the first things about the future trading god knows if tomorrow we have the eis gonna run or it's gonna get stuck like uh, you know it's, uh, it's sometimes the eis don't move i don't know if tomorrow is going to move i don't know i've been out for seven days i don't know i don't but i know common sense and it's going to be up you know the decks one of the things you have to understand when you are also should not be using no more than one or two contracts per per instruments the reason is for that sometimes you have the market getting stuck in a channel if you don't understand that this is a problem for you i cannot go on a three contracts contract on a on an e ask if I have four thousand five thousand you cannot do that because you're not calculating sometimes an auto trade can get jammed with a bad trade one bad trade after the other you know two three bad trades and that will put you in the diaper section so you cannot do that one of the smartest things you can do with the future is spread out your horses then having four contract or three contract and you are on a low money try to take the nasdaq ym this is five dollars a tick and you know what i don't want to brag about it but for every system there is one instrument can go really shine on that system here uh, your nasdaq is the best instrument to trade it and and what i like about it because the uh, the nasdaq is a very cheap uh, to trade and it's not unusual for the nasdaq to nail 80 ticks 100 ticks or as we see today i don't want to exaggerate 
but today we have 265 ticks on the NASDAQ. So you're not, if you are trading the, the NASDAQ and the market is moving for today, you are not uh, going to be left out without any money. If I wanted to trade the DAX, of course, I can take. Uh, this is my favorite one minute. Okay, today uh, we started, we have one break even on the chart, one very small trade on the one minute, and then one beautiful trend. We were done by 512 Eastern time, and it nailed 3250. This is the best instruments you can use, and it is, for me, I like it a lot, uh, the DAX. Because what, what can you do in one day it takes you one week to earn your money on the ES. But nevertheless, if you want to compare that one uh, to the NASDAQ, actually, it is very good if you calculate the amount of money you have invested on the NASDAQ and the amount of money you have invested on the NAS on the DAX. On the DAX, you are investing six and a half thousand dollar immersion, but here, how much do you are putting? Five hundred, three hundred dollars? So the return on the NASDAQ it is amazing and it can be stand going and auto trade four contracts on the NASDAQ. We can take one NASDAQ, one YM and stay safe. So this is an idea uh, that uh, traders should understand to the more you hatch the future, the more we are not affected by one instrument because if maybe tomorrow the nasdaq is not going to be making money as an example but if i'm using one es and one nasdaq and one dow jones i have three horses running so if one of them dies on me on the way then i still have the other two horses can cover up for me so that tells you when you have more money more capital uh, the less money you lose and the guy has no money he lose the most because when a guy is following those basic we don't want to go overboard with it but if we take one es one nasdaq one ym one cl as an example we have four or five horses running in the market that guy the probability of that guy to lose money is is a very much less than this guy have a three thousand dollar the reason is he's become irrelevant if the ES moving today or not, or it become irrelevant if this Nasdaq moving or not. The market is going to get stuck in its channels. If you look at any given market on a 15 minutes, the 15 minutes is an institutional time frame. The institutionals are not using a line like this for sure, and they're not using a Renko bar. And then when you put it and you put the zone uh, that we have today, you will see on the 15 minutes, sometimes this certain market gets stuck between channels, you know, and then it goes back and forth like a pinball. And that is a problem. And when the market gets stuck in the channel, you're not looking at it because now you're looking at the one minute. But this is a really problem and you don't understand. Then immediately you point at the auto trade didn't make money today you don't understand sometimes the market is flat that it is a problem really uh you have to understand that sometimes during the week any given instrument can get stuck in those channels last year i was uh, making a bet on the cl for two weeks uh, every time um I calculated it's gonna break this channel. Uh, it uh, didn't, and I kicked back uh, for two weeks. And then on the last trade, I didn't uh, trade it, and then the CL broke out. Absolutely. So this is something you have to maybe uh, later on. Uh, we will try to cover it, so maybe we can show the traders what to look for uh, to understand how we we are going to approach this market every morning you don't just get up in the morning turn on your auto trade and go make your espresso and you don't know how the market is running you cannot do that some other people that say yes you can jump on it 
So now here we have the scalpers. We have a scalper one minute and a scalper 150 takes. So when you see the trade here going two trades now, like like now, is is um, just take that trade because it's on zero zero. You can follow those as well. You can follow those trades if you want to. And then here at the end, it is your swing trading. Uh, 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 and uh, we are going to cover some of the swing trading. One of the things what I'm saying is that system here on the left corner, if you really want to be interested in going further with your trading or trying to, to make a career out of it, you can. But when you are using a normal auto trade, whether it's from us or somebody else, whatever you get for that day, you get for that day. You have no control over it. So what I'm trying to say is uh, if uh, you cannot be just professional on somebody's back, you cannot. So there is two ways you can play that business. Either accept the fact whatever you're going to come out with that auto trade, you have to accept it. Or you can get involved in your trading and then uh, let the auto trade uh, take the trade that will, will take the motions out from you. But then you can manage it if you want to exit or if you wanted to get a greedy. Why not? You're allowed to get a greedy. That's what uh, we all traders like to greed. But, um, or you can use the scalper or you can use the swing trading. This is the swing trading. This is the one you see here now, the NASDAQ. One thing about the swing trading, if this market moving, you're not gonna miss. You're not gonna miss any trade. If this market is spiking, we're gonna spike the hell out of it. If this market moving, we're not gonna miss, folks. And there is, here is the problem. There is no stop loss is gonna knock you out of that trade. Once the market, once the trend is over, the automated trade is going to close it, market order. This is, I'm, I'm concentrating on NASDAQ. The reason today I'm pointing at NASDAQ, I don't wanna talk about the DAX because I, I know always the cow thinks it's a greener on the other side, but what I'm trying to say, if you know how to play your cards, it does not really require a lot of money to nail the NASDAQ, whether it's on a swing trading or on the scalping or on the price action, the one we're looking at. You can always uh, 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 get it if you wanted to do that. So don't think the CL is going to make you more money or don't think maybe the DAX is uh, very expensive for you. You don't need to do that. Look, this one here is telling me where this market is going to project. The auto trade have it as exactly what it's supposed to do. The auto trade have it right on the trading stop one, okay? which it was gonna knock me out of that trade because this is a, the trading stop one uh, is a, a, a minor support line and the trading stop two is a major support line. But look at this one, it's going to be rejected from here. And I said that 10 minutes ago. Watch it. Let me see some of those bozos do this live. Watch it how this market is going to reject from here. So the numbers is there. The only thing you need to get used to how to do it, and you don't need anyone uh, to teach you price action because the price action is already there, folks. The price action is already there. The calculation, the math. When we are eyeballing the chart, we misread it. We all can misread it. But this one here is math. Is recalculating for you for every tick. And uh, watch this market.
Now look at this. This is your re-entry point. It's already the system giving you your re-entry point. Your re-entry point is 5166. And there is a lot of selling coming in on the NASDAQ. On the YM, I apologize. Look where is this bar. Look at the wake. That's why I didn't want to use the the, the zone today you can see exactly where's the wig on that bar came into your re-entry point where is your re stop loss on this re-entry point you can if you don't want to use an auto trade you can put it a few ticks below okay or you can hide below the trading stop to the trading stop to it is the end of the line. So that's mean no more long trade available. Now the market is in the mood. So there is two options here because it's a NASDAQ. It's a cheaper to do that. You can hide a few ticks below the re-entry point. Or if you want to give it a little uh, more uh, room, it's up to you what kind of mood you are in for that day. You can hide your trailing stop below the trailing stop too, because anything below the trailing stop too, now we have a short trend. We have a short trend. It is very important to understand uh, those. Those are just four lines you need to get to know. To know them, that's it. To understand four lines, because the calculation is there, the math is there, the auto trade is there. Look what happened, guys. Is it a magic or is it true? The market kicked back from those lines. Welcome to trading. Welcome to trading. That can give me also information about if I'm swing trading or I am uh that can give me exactly what's going on in this market with without using my head i apologize it's been um uh, i was away for a few days so so let's look at the i don't want to cover everything but um now that indicate for us on the swing trading again one minute Let me show you why sometimes it's not smart to have uh, three, four contracts on the chart, especially for those guys who have uh, small money. I don't want to. I don't want to disturb this one. If you see when the market was uh, was not moving, and actually there is a straight line, nothing happened. Just a few trades here and there. I think plus minus. But then when the market start trending, you did not miss it. This is the most important. When the market start trending, you're not missing it. Uh, after that swing here, should I continue automated trading? No. No. Because this market is going to spike one time a day. Could be sometimes it's going to spike twice a day yeah but uh what happened normally when the market uh, hit 100 tick one direction or 200 ticks in one direction it has to recalculate and confirm those numbers and then what happened for amateur trading he's gonna dive in right into it so when you see a market start trending and it got spiked for today and got the trend for today very slowly 
before you let the devil play with your head, cash in, slowly turn off your computer. Do not disturb anything to the left corner. Go ahead, turn off your computer and run as fast as you can. So you will not be attempting to take any more trades. My advice to you, because the more you poke with that market, it's exactly you are sitting on a gambling table and you are about to give your money back. Anyone can tell me, other, show me. Because there is a lot of people have an opinion, show me. Show me how you can be in the market eight hours a day and making money, show me. So let's go back to our story on the YM. Before it happened, we called it for you guys. And we told you exactly, let me see the other bozos do that. And it came in right to the wig and the market spiked again. So this here, the entry, you can take it manually, or if you are at the entry signal, the automated trade has already took that trade. <clears throat> what else we have for today? There we go. We are back on the, the system, start nailing it. Uh, right now, we are on 700 tick on the future based on the last signal not all day long based on one lot one contract 52 takes on the es 316 takes on the nasdaq 12 on the dax 64 on the ym i mean what the dax sticking his nose into the ym and the nasdaq uh 30 year treasury bond 13 takes Russell 98 takes, CL 148 takes, 100, I'm sorry, 113 takes, and the gold 17 takes. Total of 717 takes based on one minute. Every day is the same, one minute. Again, every day, the same, one minute. Let me see the others do that. Let's see what else we have here. About time frame, time frame with uh, the swing trading. Let me, I have covered that before and I wanna cover that again. If this market moving is irrelevant, become the time frame when we are dealing with minutes, okay? Not one of those uh, sleazy charts with a rank, uh, with a wrinkle or a line break or whatever the hell they have over there. Once the minute is a trend, then the one and the three and the five become irrelevant. Plus minus. One of them can make a little bit more than the other. One of them can be less than the other. But one. Uh, it looked like the three minutes suggests. No, we had a trade here. We have a beautiful trade on the. Okay. So this is a new trade. Let me see what happened here. We had a very nice trade on the. Okay. We have one small trade, okay, but still, uh, it is, okay, it doesn't matter. If we look between the one minute and the five minutes, this one here on that trade right now, the entry was, ninety-nine fifty. 
And this one entry is 95.50. Okay. But if we are looking at it, they're almost the same. They're almost the same. It doesn't matter. If this market is trending, whether you are on a one minute, the three minutes, or the five minutes, it's going to be the same story. Let me show you CL. Here is your CL one minute. And here is your CL three minutes. It's going to be a few hundred dollars different, but does not mean if uh, today, that's one thing you have traders, they keep making the same mistake. If, is it a or minute, Sam? I have, I have the DAX today, on the one minute. I like the one minute on the DAX. Already hit the target 3,200. If we take another one, which usually the 244 makes much, much more than the one minute. Today did not. But usually the 244, it makes much more than the one minute that I like because there is a stability. So today the one did make money, it did not make that much money, but still sometimes between 244 takes and 288 takes, Almost the same, look, 1,240, 1,200. So between the 244 takes and the 288 takes, there is nothing. Because the market, the shape, the shape of the tick chart is the same. So if this market is moving, well, then when you are using a tick chart, it uh, could be more plus minus a few hundred here and there for today. But then tomorrow it will be the other chart having a couple of three hundred dollars more or a couple of three hundred dollars less. This is, is irrelevant. As long as you use in the one minute and the takes, you can use range as well. I'm not saying you cannot use range. I like minute personally. I can look at the trend on the one minute, but the takes are okay. And uh, so if you are every trader have a magic number on the takes, but you can. If this market moving on the takes, you will be making it. And if the market not moving, it doesn't matter whether it's a minute or a tick or, or a range, it's not gonna make it. If there is no movement, there is no, nothing to do. Here is, I'm really having a problem trying to let the traders understand. One thing, whether, an hour auto trade or somebody else they do not get that section at all they're not getting it they're brushing it off when the market is trending you are making money when the market it is flat where you want your money to come from where you want this money to come from because it's gonna drive you crazy on here and you and uh, a lot of traders, they say, it's not my problem. Yes, it is your problem. It's not the auto trade problem. It is your problem to look at the chart, whether you like it or not, you like me or not, I don't care. But the, 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 the matter of fact, if you wanna go somewhere with that business, you have to care. You have to understand that on those position, when the market is a flat, you're not gonna be ma making money. You can whine all day long about it and the rest of your life, you're not gonna get anywhere in this business. And it is really a problem to let some traders understand when the market is flat. The market is flat. You cannot get hair out of a bullheaded man. You cannot do that. And they are having a hard time accepting that. 
So why I need to trade on July? No, I don't need to trade on July. Do I need to trade around Christmas? No, I do not need to trade around Christmas. Every time your children are out of the school, the market gets in trouble. The reason is because the volume is down. And when the volume is down, there is another type of a dog gonna go ahead and steer this business. So uh, you cannot control that market. You have no inventory. You have no impact on that market, and you cannot drive that market the way you want it. So, things is you have to understand those tricks in the in the future trade, and we can go sit down day and night. You can criticize as much as you want, or you can like as much as you want. The re, we are sharing all those information for free, and we are not getting anything out of it, whether you accept it or you don't. At the end of the day, one day you have to accept it or you have to leave that business quietly and nicely because there is nobody care if you stay or leave so you better do your homework because when you are trading nobody cares if your name is mike or thompson you lose you lose you make mistake you you pay uh, you make a nice trade you get rewarded right on the spot no hard feeling so uh uh, guys, again, again, uh, education, uh, before you go live, you have to understand how things works in this business in order for you to go farther uh, with your trading. And uh, for... Uh, also, passion, I think, is a uh, passion. If you don't have the passion, uh, I don't know. Uh, and um, so that's... Okay, now we got busy talking. Now let's see what we have here. Uh, we have nothing. We have a short trade, YM. We are done with the long trade, and now we are on the short trade. On the YM, let's see where it's driving us on the short trade YM. The scalper we are using, um, you can use in a limited order and you can use a market order. On the minute we are using a market order, on the 150 ticks we are using a limited order. The difference between a limited order, if you want to deal with the slippage or not, that's up to the trader, it's not up to us. Uh, I, I don't have enough uh, room to uh, to chase an uh, entry signals on the stocks. I wish I can uh, do that, or maybe one day I will uh, do something else beside that. But uh, I don't have enough room to kill uh, the the screen with the. Um, uh, stock entries but you can automate them and you can use uh, 100 we are using 100 you can see here we are using 100 share so let's say you have a few thousand dollars you do not need to put them all in one you can uh, the system will find an entry. You can feed the auto trade 100 stock, 500 or 300 stock, whatever you like, and the system will take those trades for you till you run out of money. Okay. The, in the stocks, uh, I used to never let myself run out of money. Uh, 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 in a way, because there is a lot of opportunity. So let's say if you have a $10,000, you should not buy in stock with $10,000 and run out. Because I'm a kind of guy with a Forex or a stocks. I'm not gonna overmerge myself. If I wanna buy Forex, I'm gonna be holding my position for a week or two. I'm not that kind of guy. And I don't know any guy can make money on the Forex on a daily basis, honestly. But I can calculate between the euro dollar and I can calculate what's going on. Uh, and I use a higher time frame. I use a day uh, to 40 minutes and then I can find pinpoint my entry. 
between a euro dollar and I can I'm still having a position on 105 on the on the euro dollar so um, uh, on the on the Forex I like to hold positions for 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 days weeks and months so I don't like to over merge myself with the Forex and at the same time on the stocks um, uh, one thing I would like to say to the trader, if you have $10,000, do not let yourself run out of money. Uh, always try to, if you, let's say you have a $10,000, try to split it in half. I split mine in four pieces. I don't want to get into it, but you can split it in half. The reason for that, uh, sometimes you enter to a good position, 100 stock, let's say, each, and then all of a sudden the market had dropped and then uh, then um, then you'll see a lot of opportunity but you don't have any more money uh, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to 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 trade so um, try let's say it sounds like a cowboy movie uh, uh, try to split them in four pieces and try to always leave 50% uh, reserve uh, because you will find a good hit. Uh, and, and you should not uh, use your 10,000 uh, on a daily basis, let's say, if your capital 10,000. Uh, my opinion, you should not use it, uh, all of it, in uh, one shot. Uh, try to uh, leave it, uh, cut them in pieces two pieces or four pieces and uh, leave always um, 25 or 50 percent of your capital for emergency if you wanted to when you find an opportunity one of the things also uh, on the trade and stock uh, i've heard all those bozos uh, talking and calculating <laughs> and putting a charts and i i used to know all the uh, support lines on the stocks I was using I don't need a computer to to like but I was laughing um, you see a lot of guys with the light bulbs telling you where is uh, they do the homework and they study and they study and they study chart and they study everything about this company and I, <laughs> I was doing the opposite direction uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I want to share this information, but um, I used to uh, uh, go on Yahoo, your ten dollars subscription, your ten, your ten dollars subscription, and uh, and then what I did, I go ahead and I picked up the biggest losers of today, and I those here that they were on a different capital. <laughs> And um, because uh, this this stock lost a lot uh, lost a lot of money today, so the bad news is already out of the way. The bad news is already out of the way, and uh, and I don't see it's not going to be any more bad news to this one, you know. And some of them made it, some of them did not. Some of them went to the garbage, but uh, I did very well with those uh, small cap and uh, <laughs> pick up all the losers for today and not buy a lot, buy 100, 200, to 300 uh, stocks out of it. Uh, the end of the year, you have sprayed out very well. And then, I mean, excuse my language, but the, this stock has already been screwed. It cannot be screwed again. And I used to go pick up all the losers from Yahoo for today. And uh, and uh, I was laughing my ass off of those guys putting a chart and trying to be smart and looking smart and and making a video about one dummy uh, stock. I mean, it's only stupid stock, you know. And especially with the stock, it's not like future trading. Uh, one guy can come in on the television, uh, and one thing, this is one thing, when, when somebody brag on the television about one stock, I went short immediately. Because uh, 
the trick is when they are trying to say how good that stock, everybody is running and buying it. Two, three days later, those big company cash in and they'll leave you behind and you cannot see what they are doing. So this is uh, the oldest tricks in the book. When I see somebody bra bragging about stock, I went short immediately at the end of the day. Always purchased my stock at the end of the day on the last five minutes. On the last 10 minutes, I always purchased, not doing the trade, on, uh, trade hours, never. Only 10 minutes or 15 minutes before closing time. By then, I aim all the stocks I need to buy. The ones they've been banged on today, all day long, those traders have been banging on those, and it cannot be banged again. It's finished. So when they lose 20 and 30% out of their value, some of them, they keep going down. This is part of the business. You cannot win them all. But most of them, Traders forget about those stocks, they cash in, and then two or three months later, they start buying them on the higher price, two times the price. And, uh, and uh, I used to sit down, me and the guy sit down, drink beer, and watch those bozos talking, putting their heart out, tell stocks, and put a chart on a YouTube dumb as and it don't, don't need that what it need ten dollar subscription from yahoo and you need an entry point absolutely you need an entry point if you want it to be serious about it but if you want to just purchase and put it behind your back for a couple of years you can do that easily and you see your the portfolio double up on a day trading is a different story you know uh now we have the es is down okay let's look What's going on in this business? Uh, the YM. Are we still going down on the YM? Uh, let me see the DAX. You know, this is what I like about the ATM because the target was somewhere around there and now it's telling me the target to drop to the 457. What it does update itself because it's not a dummy auto trade. It's not a black box. Again, it's not a black box, folks. Okay. It seems like now it's uh, 11 o'clock and. Um, Okay, guys, here, where is your trading stop is very fine. But on your automated trade, the fully automated trade, uh, this is an ATM you can play with the trading stop and stop loss. If you look here, this is your trading stop too. This is a major error, final uh, destination for the short trade is right there. And this is uh, your trading stop. All of both of them are based on the FIPS, and this is your minor. There is two only two trading stop only one the number one is a minor resistant and the second one is a major resistant it's very simple so this market when it's going back and forth is gonna go back to retest the first one or the second one this is an opportunity you can cash in with your auto trade and you can manually re-enter if you want to from those entry because most of the time you will see those markets get rejected from those numbers. And they are very cheap trade because you don't need a lot of stop loss and you don't need to come out with your entry yourself. They are calculated. So you can combine the automated trade or full automated or an ATM, all of them taking the same signal that you can go ahead and, and um, uh, the way you want to trade it, you can trade it. Uh, by um, a manual or fully automated. And um, it is a very simple, straightforward. Uh, for a guy is very serious with the straight. It's the only direction that you can do. It does not uh, need to uh, optimize because the minute you're going to put your finger with the optimization on that system, you're going to ruin it. You cannot optimize it. So there is no optimization in here. 
what it does calculate the highs, the lows, the lows, and low, and then it calculate the high time frame because in this 2018, you, you no longer can trade one minute itself. If you are trading manually, you need at least a fourth chart. You need to fill up one screen with your chart. At least has to be one minute, three minutes, 10 or 15 minutes chart to in order for you to take a trade. It's no longer acceptable to take just one chart. So on that one here, on that system here, is calculating all the high time frame with the zones, but we have the zones off. And it's giving you uh, the precise combination from all those charts and giving you one entry. So this is where stand having a four charts on one instrument, now we can open the doors to all the instruments and then we can pick what we want to trade for today. And if you have the right amount of money, uh, we can uh, go ahead and when we see a new signal in, you can auto trade one each and then call it off for today. And let's say ES one contract, NASDAQ one contract, and YM one contract. And then uh, by 11, 12 o'clock, it should be done. Again, by 11, 12 o'clock, it should be done. You should not be no more longer trading after 12 o'clock, not unless if you know what you're doing. I don't want to, uh, you know. But the idea is you should be done by 11, 12 o'clock. Call it off for today. Now, on the swing trading, uh, on the swing trading, you can, the only time you can trade in is at 9.30. Turn it on at 9.30, don't the other, how to read the market, don't get in trouble, just turn it on at 9.30. When the market is open, you turn on your swing trading, and, and, uh, and I don't, I don't use the filter news on the swing trading because I want this movement on the swing trading. So I don't use a, There is a news filter on it, but I don't use a news filter on the swing trading. I prefer to dive in right into the news because it could maybe ignite that instrument and it will be probably the trade of today. So I don't want to miss out on it. However, on the scalper is a total different story. On the scalper here, it requires slower movement. Those two market analyzers require slower movement. You cannot dive into it when uh, there is a news. So it must, again, it must use a news on those here. There is a news filter. When there is a news come out, you need 10 minutes before turn it off, it does turn off itself. And uh, when uh, the news is out five minutes later or so, then the auto trade resume trading. On the scalper, it is easy to use. Uh, Eastern time, six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning, you can use them. Uh, and all the way till 11, 12 o'clock. Either at 12 o'clock you stop or your target will be hit before 12 o'clock. If you want it to, uh, this is the only way it can be played safe that, uh, let's say if you have a daily target 250, uh, the, when you get your daily target 250 based on one contract, you should be done for today. If you see the market is moving and you got your 250 in no time, that's mean the market is moving. You want to go for one more round, you can do that, no problem. But to try to be done over with at 12 o'clock and get it over with. On the on the swing trade, and you can stay all day long. But again, once this market, any market, any given market, once you have a big trend, there is nothing left for today to trade anymore. So in a way, we have a very nice spike in here. We got 160 ticks, 140 ticks. 200. Once this market hit the spike, there is nothing left. So once you hit your big trade for today, turn it off. 
whether it happened or you sometimes uh, the thing uh, the swing trading can stay all day long on one trade sometimes uh it stays after and if this market going to your direction is very fine but once this market closed you need to finish it for today so you know, right now um If we look at the ES charts, uh, I think it is over for today with the ES chart. And I'm not sure anything gonna happen for today on the, an ES chart. And I think it is over with that. Look how the, I'm showing the one minute because this is the only genuine chart you need to see is the one minute. If we notice uh, when the uh, the Nasdaq took that trade at seven two four nine fifty, took it all the way up to seven three. It doesn't matter about the money. It doesn't matter about the trade. But what I want to try to show you here, what did you miss out of that trade? Nothing. Pullback re-entry. You got it. On the first pullback, the market identified trend to that trend is over. Once we hit this target, what happened to this NASDAQ? Nothing. And it probably is not going to happen anything the rest of the day. So why I need to sit down and play with the fire here? This is a good enough. Go home. You know. So once this market finish trending you should be done with it that's what i'm trying to get you <laughs> folks we're gonna stay a little bit longer uh, let you follow this one here i'm gonna grab a cup of coffee i'll be right back thank you
uh, yes, uh, I have a, a chat on the Skype with the. Uh, I will be tomorrow, and I will try to give 24 hours in advance. Uh, that's why you can have a chance to uh, log in and um, uh, try uh, to. Uh, but uh, we go. We are gonna go probably the whole tomorrow and the whole next week nonstop. Uh, every single day at 10 a.m. I'll try my best, uh, try to do that. Uh, now my computer is back in order. So I had a problem uh, before the summer break with uh, my computer. So it was a good chance to upgrade my computer when I'm gone, and it did, and uh, everything is working fine. So uh, probably I will be running uh, tomorrow and uh, rest uh, next week non-stop every single day and uh, everyone is very welcome not much going on today uh, i will try my best uh, tomorrow i would like to cover a little bit about uh, the reversal uh, and the tricks about trading reversals and which i'm a big fan of a reversal trading and i will be using a Renko bar and i will show you on a Renko bar how we can take advantage of the reversal on the minute or ticks in this matter because we have a lot of people like uh, ticks nothing wrong with the ticks the ticks is fine uh, but uh, uh, i like personally minutes because a ninja trader platform is in minutes it's not in ticks or whatever you see out there something does not identify a trend if something it cannot identify trend we have a problem i mean look let me take an example here takes there is nothing wrong with the takes uh i like takes is uh actually on the swing trading on the swing trading uh the uh the ticks are uh, smaller in the stop losses than a minute the reason is it's very simple if we take the one minute the chart have a bigger stop loss than the ticks on the swing trading or on that matter on the, the scalpers on the scalpers, they're they're all on a 15 ticks of stop loss. It's not uh, scientists. This is just 15 ticks of stop loss. The reason is uh, there is a bigger uh, stop loss on on the ticks because on the minute because sometimes on the minute uh, if you take the Nasdaq, sometimes you have a big bars and a small bars and a big bars and a small bars. So you gotta give it a little gap. Where on the it takes actually it's a little bit more civilized with the takes. So if we, I mean, it's not as wider as like when you are using a minute. A minute sometimes can go really, really uh, uh, way out, out of uh, limitation. So that's why. The, is a uh, smaller stop loss on that one so uh, for our traders um, you know i have seen that i want to show you we do have a rank bar it's not uh, we that we don't have and tomorrow i want to uh i wanted to cover how to use the renko bar and the renko bar is the best things ever happened to this business before we used to use a range bar for reversals but the renko bars are 10 times better for a reversal 
but that does not really indicate a trend, but it is perfect for a reversal, you know? Now, on that Renko bar, which I have seen it a lot when we install the system to some of the people we trade, they trade, and most of the time when we come in, install, at least he have one or two chart like this. Seriously? Do you really think you're gonna make money with this one here? It looks good. The reason it looks good, because they move, because you just load it. But this, all of it is fake movement. That's why you cannot trade that one. They say you can. They say. But uh, you cannot trade that one. And I can, uh, you can automate it. They're good for automation. Uh, but you cannot rely You cannot rely on uh, the back testing and forward testing. Now I'm going to be hammered if I'm going to show that trick. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to. Yes, I got the the, uh, the i9 uh, processor with a cooler system on it. Yes. Um, I'll show it to you. Sorry, some of the guys are chatting with me. Yes, uh, I had to upgrade uh, my uh, my, uh, and it is an i nine seventy nine hundred X CPU. Uh, I mean, you know, and yes, it's, it is. And uh, the problem is uh, when I had a problem, I, I cannot uh, give it to anyone. Fix uh, my computer, so I have to send it to different locations to be upgraded because I don't like to give it to a guy just got out of school. Okay, let me... I was gonna do something and I forgot. You know, for the guys, Uh, they are really happy with Ninja Trader 8, and I think uh, Ninja Trader 8 is good. But let me show you something uh, with the with your package here on NT7. What we have done on NT7, 10 years of development nonstop. And if we Eventually, uh, Ninja Trader 8 is still a baby, and eventually it will be like NT7. It will be all those bugs ironed without question. And uh, Ninja Traders are doing a great job ironing all the bugs in Ninja Trader 8. Nevertheless, it's still a young platform. But uh, we have done a lot of work on NT7, and the things, those are not normal indicators. And 10 years, in 10 years, we have developed one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen auto trades, and one of them has two inside. One of the things I want to show you. The next generation was much more advanced than normal traders can handle. This is the next generation, and uh, I don't know, I don't remember if we have it on NT8 yet or is going on NT8. The Ninja Trader, the next generation, is one of the most institutional automated trading ever came out. But sadly, uh, we didn't advertise a lot for it because it was too complex for the normal traders to understand. I mean, you have to really know how to play it. And if you look at this uh, uh, next generation, this is all seven, folks. If you want to talk about automated trading, you want to dance, let's dance. This is only one automated trade, folks. And this one we have simplified. But we find out it was very hard for the traders to understand all those whatnots. And no matter what we have done to the room, it was impossible for those guys because most of them, most of the guys on auto trading, they are they refuse to be auto trade because they don't know how to trade. And this one here require. I mean, I'm telling you, it's endless. There we go. So you can imagine when a guy is trying to sell you for five thousand dollars just based on ATR movement or a MACD movement, and he's getting five thousand for it. So how much, if he can get his hands on this one, how much he will be selling it? And the worst part, you cannot even talk to him because he has one indicator as an automated trader. So this is one of the auto trade, which is in your package. And this is a state of art. And you can use a Renko bar, you can use a ticks, you can use anything you like on it. And this is one auto trade. And uh, sadly, we cannot do that uh, uh, screen here uh, on NT8. But uh, this is also uh, can uh, be reverse parabolic, and and I mean it's it's amazing what what it have. And this is one of the auto trade we, uh, you will have in your package. Let me show you another one. And uh, tomorrow I will be showing you the reversal on this one here. Uh, let me show you the institutional auto trade. But all those, uh, uh, unlike uh, what we are showing you right now, on those systems, the swing trading, uh, the scalping, and the price action, this one here, this one, this one and this one and this one uh, does not require uh, any um, does not require any optimization or tweaking or backtesting. What you see, what you get, and uh, just um, uh, news off and news on uh, daily target. I mean, very th th small things, but you cannot optimize uh, the system. Because if you optimize the system, you're going to ruin it. 
So not everything can be optimized, and especially lack of experience, we find out. Uh, people don't know how to optimize, don't understand the market, and then they can get in a lot of trouble. Uh, this is uh, another auto trade, which called the institutional. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve entry. Twelve entry. On the filter, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three filters. The high time frame on this one is one of the most um, advanced high time frame ever. Anyone can come out, tell me he has an auto trade. I'll show you. The high time frame on this one here comes in two sections. Not even one bozo in this industry can make this high time frame. Not even one. And I'll show you why. First of all, conservative. So you can decide to take the trade if is the trend is strong or not, on or off. Okay. Then you say if you want to see the filter or not. We always have an option. You can see the indicator, or you don't want to see it. On the first higher time filter, you can use one minute, takes volume, range, second, length. So you can use one minute if you want to, or three minutes in this an example. The second one, I don't want to use minute. I want to use range bar. I put range bar if you want to. The third one, I want to use 288 takes. As an example, third number. Now, the second one, there is two different double high time frame. The second one, I want to use the one and five and the ten and the fifteen and the thirty minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using one time frame. Now here, I want to use the breakout as an example. And I want to use, as an example, uh, the trend bar. You can add one more time. If you want to be aggressive, you can be aggressive. If you want to be conservative, you can be conservative. You can put entry two if you want to. If you want to. Now, you can activate three, four entries in the same time. And Whatever signal comes in first is going to take that trade. And then you turn it on and it is ready to trade. So we have a lot on NT7 we have developed. And uh, here is your. Filters. Stop target. Anything you want. Your PNL. Everything you need. Actually, this one we built it in 2013. Wow. That was a long time ago. This was a long time ago. I don't have it. Oh, there we go. Now on this one here, this is your high time frame. So because we tied up the nut too much, it's only going to take the trade When the trend is strong,
at those auto trades, they are top notch auto trades actually. And we still have a Germans uh, using it since 2013 actually, until today. And they don't want even an update. Uh, we have done a lot uh, on uh, Ninja Trader 7, and it's sad to see all of it going away. Of, of course, we will be moving them piece by piece uh, to NT8 in time. When we see more stability on NT8, we will be moving everything to Ninja Trader uh, 8. We have big partial of it right now on NT8, but we still have a lot on NT7. Uh, I'm not going to let it go. Uh, one of the things also, um, the auto trades, tomorrow I will be covering the reversals, how to trade manual reversal, and tomorrow I will be covering one of the auto trades reversals on it. Even look, I mean, If we turn off the filter, but all those auto trades, the problem we went in and uh, made a decision, not the uh, traders deal with optimization because they failed to optimize and um, So that's why we went through uh, the uh, the other ones. Uh, so it will not. Um, I don't want the trader to optimize and sit down six months trying to um, figure out how to optimize. But uh, for the ones advanced traders. Uh, you can uh, use those auto trade if you are you know how to optimize. They are extremely powerful, uh, and you can take it from conservative uh, to top notch. Uh, depends on. We have this one here for safety. That's why uh, we have uh, the. Let me show you one of the tricks. Uh, this is a, a normal bar, trend bar, our trend bar. Uh, it's not the blue and uh, white uh, and uh, red. It's based on the price line, actually. Our major trend is ba uh, based on a... Look at this. It's just simple entry. What we have done to this uh, bar, you know, I just got this in new computer, so I don't have everything installed yet. What we got in that one here, when it turns blue, take it, and when it, it exit on a neutral, and then re-enter if it turns blue. Then what we can do on that one is the same bar, Show indicator, and I want to use use a high time frame, and I want to use the three minutes. So I'm getting the minutes involved in the Renko bar. I don't have a historical data yet it's a new installation let me try
I haven't used it in many, many years. I have one of the filter on. Sadly, we had, <clears throat> we have a lot, uh, I knew it when uh, we did all those auto trades. When we are doing on this process, I figure out one thing. I said, we are in trouble. The guys don't know the market and the guys are not able to optimize. So beside the scalpers, the reversal you don't need to optimize but the rest you need to optimize and they fell to optimize uh we stayed in the room day in and a day out trying to teach how to optimize and and uh, traders did not know how to optimize and they have a hard time optimization so on top of that, there is a problem with optimization because when you are optimizing an auto trade, it can give you good results. And then when you want to try to put it in, uh, into work, then you see the results are very far from optimization. So this is the problem we have, say, is we, we, we immediately, a few years ago, we, we find out those traders don't know how to optimize. And uh, they don't understand that. When the ES across the 10 days moving average, or the 50 days moving average, or the whole attitude on that ES has changed. So with the optimization, the problem is, is not to optimize at one time and get it to work if you got it to work. The problem is how you're gonna keep up the optimization and you need, when you are trying to optimize an auto trade, you need to keep tweaking it weekly. This is the problem because maybe next week your ES is gonna cross the 50 days moving average. How are you gonna optimize that? So immediately it tells you that you need to consistently uh, trying to maintain that auto trade on your own and traders fell big time 97 percent traders fell so that's why we don't rely anymore on the optimization because we know 90 97 percent will fail optimization even they fell when we try to put limited order and a market order they got lost so how you want them to optimize if they can get lost between a limited order and a market order so uh that's why right now what you're looking at uh, the price action uh, swing trading scalping i don't want a trader to make decision on optimization neither on an entry point because i'm not relying on the, the trader to do anything anymore or to come out with uh, some new brilliant ideas in, on his own so that's why this is the direction and it's been hell on earth uh it's not a simple text uh because uh, we have to maintain everything on our side you know i mean if you're getting it 
on a silver platter and you don't have to do optimization, you don't have to do tweaking, does not mean we, we can get away with it. No, uh, the load is on us, it's not on you. And we decided to put that load on us because we know you cannot do it. 97% cannot do it. 97% cannot even read the market if today good to trade or not, or the market is flat. Uh, having a problem even reading the market in the morning. So how are you going to have this guy optimized? You know, uh, how you want him to be a master of optimization? You will not, because here is an example. Uh, I will be covering that tomorrow. Uh, if we are taking a swing trading, uh, a reversal trading, uh, as an example, which I will be covering tomorrow, reversal, whether you are trading Ninja Trader 7 or Ninja Trader 8, doesn't matter. We have them on both of them. But um, even, even if you want to tra trade reversal uh, on a Renko bar, which I think Renko bar are the best things ever for reversal, but they are the worst kind to trade with a trend. There is no way I can see a trend on that one. No way. If we take the CL, as an example, you can trade it on that time frame on the rank of R. And one of the biggest trick on the rank of R to cover the the system, the Fallon system, doesn't work. To make it really looks work. You see that? You put anything on that chart will look good. Anything on that chart will look good. Even auto trade. I'm going to be using Ninja Trader MA cross, whatever that is. Looks very good, does it? Oh man, I'm gonna be rich tomorrow. Look at this, looks so good, so accurate, that can turn you on. Let's see the truth of that auto trade on a reality. Oh boy. This is a one messy banana right there. So if you have a rank of bar under your sleeve, try with respect to the others. Maybe you have some auto trades with the others. That's okay, fine. Try to use Ninja Trader. We can always pick on Ninja Trader. Try to use this one and try to use a rank of bar. And you see the difference. So now what we are trying to say is. Uh, tomorrow I will be covering the, the reversal. But uh, let's say the CL, you can reverse it on that time frame, 6-2. But uh, the 6-2, you cannot reverse it on an ES. It will never work. So again, because I know the ES. The CL is okay with her 6-2 to take a reversal. ES. It's a different story. It's a three one. Why? Because I know the market. I know the rank of bar. <laughs> so if I want to reverse uh, the uh, the ES, has to use a different time frame <laughs> because I know this business. But the guy, the guy don't know how the ES move. He's gonna go dive in right to the different chart so this is what i'm saying guys we have to do some little education sometimes to understand uh how things works in this business 
Uh, we have the ES uh, target at the 28 to 20. And uh, we have the true average price at 28.18. Be careful with that one. And then the target is 28.20. So this is, I'm going to leave it as is because now we want to close uh, very soon. So this is a uh, market on your chart that 28.18 is going to get slapped, the ES on that number. And that's why you see now it's trying to flirt with that number. So keep your eye on the 2818. This is a very important number. Uh, let's look at the YM. Okay, the same story on the YM. The auto trade took that trade. But you see, the target was if you are on a fully automated trade, the full automated trade is still on the old target. We try to do that on the full automated trade. And we stayed at three months, but at the moment we cannot do that on Ninja Trader 8. Uh, then, uh, but the old target on the YM, if you are on a full automated trade, will take the 5250. If you are on an ATM strategy, you can manually jack up the price to the newer target. So now we have a new update. So I can move the price if I want to, or I can move my target. To anywhere I want. That's why I like the automated strategy. If you are on a fully automated, it will stay on the same target. It's not going to update on a full automated. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's not. We cannot have it on both sides. So let's go back on the ES. We have a problem with the 218. This is our true average price. Uh, again, tomorrow I will show the traders uh, tricks about uh, reversals. And uh, we're going to stay on this one for a while and uh, see what will come out. I believe we had a DAX also trade. Now we have. Okay, again, on your fully automated, it will exit on the DAX at 55.71. But the new target right now is much bigger target than it was before. So, but let's go back on the ES. This is a US session, so we stay on the US session. Okay, I'm taking a five minutes of break. I'll be right back.
Okay, we have a uh, buyer cover power coming on the ES over to, to the test uh, the 28. Keep your eye on the 2818, please. Large volume power coming in. You know, if you notice, uh, the CL is start losing momentum here. You can see on the CL. This is the entry at uh, 67.31. There's a way above the target. But uh, for the CL traders, you have a major support area at the 68.80 actually, followed by 68.69. This is a very strong trend on the CL, and uh, so I'm not expecting a little pullback on the CL, but I'm not expecting right there, right now, should hold that area 68. There is a lot of sellers, but uh, you see, there is a lot of selling at the trying, but uh, we have a bumper here at 68.75. And followed by 68.70. So if you are a CL trader and you are on a long trend, don't kill that trade. It is still good. Uh, so it's going to reject again. So be careful with that uh, CL trade. We'll keep our eye on it. But I'm not expecting the CL to, to drop. So especially right now a lot of cl traders using a higher time frame and i see that area here between the 68 76 and you see it here is i don't need a genius uh, because you have the trend stop one the trend stop one is the fib line minor followed by support followed by the re-entry all in the same area that indicate the 6870 is a hold it's going to hold on those level so if you are a cl trader you should not be uh, panicking on uh, cash in right now it is absolutely 
gonna go much higher level and look at this baby came in right to the wick to, to the line but those areas should hold this uh, if you don't if you don't want to get messed between uh, the details that's fine uh, 68 69 is your uh, your hold position here it's very good and um, God knows where it's taking us this one because it's way above the target let's go back on the ES uh, I want to see this ES testing that uh, 2818 one more time Look out for that number on an ES, please. 2818 is your magic number. Let's see. <laughs> if you cross the 818. <laughs> Look, where is it? Look, where is it? Look, where it stopped. Look. 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 Right at my crosser. Look at it. Look at it. This the one the one I'm getting excited. Let's look at the YM. Let's look at this guys. Now the buyer's trying to break the uh, eight a uh, eighteen. Look at this. <laughs> there we go. We broke it finally. Where is all this noise is coming from? Okay, this is the why I am getting excited. The ES broke those levels, so this means this one here is gonna go straight to those levels. Oh, there we go. Nothing to it. Piece of cake. All right. We're gonna get this target, target 2820. I hear it. It's uh, now after 12, so we are five in time right now. It's a lunch time, so we need to get this number. That will get you a nice, juicy steak. All right, come on, 2075. You see where is this ES stopped at 18 level? And now it's trying to break that 18 level. Has not closed. The bar has not closed above those numbers. That is very important. That tells me, should I catch in right now? or this is the difference between an automated trade or if you are getting involved with the automated trade a hundred dollar a day that's 50 to a couple of hundred dollars a day different that's fifty thousand dollars a year it does make sense you know to let the auto trade uh, take the trades if you don't want to mess with it let the fully automated take over but uh, i like to to mess with the be involved in it because i mean you cannot feed the auto trade everything i mean like right now the number is is uh, 2818 is telling you you can exit right now and call it off it's 12 o'clock 
or you can walk away with eight, nine hundred dollars, you know, stand six hundred dollars. So the, the ball is in your corner. Now we have a few ticks more on the target. We added 1.53 on the target. So now we are getting greedy. The auto trade is getting too greedy. So we get a greedy as well. So what it does, it gets greedy for you. You don't need to be greedy. The system is doing a good enough job for you to recalculate for you. Then, you know, because it's math. I want to see the CL, just a second, because we're still on that trade. You see exactly how we expect it, and what I said on the one uh, on the three minutes. Should you close position or should we let it? And now start rising. On one trade, rising. This one was a little bumper here, on the CL. And now start getting momentum again. This is the high. And uh, if we are going to cross the 69.08, we are probably in a good potential for another few ticks here and there. So at least we know it's not running out of steam. And uh, the 69.08 is going to decide for us if we are running out of steam or not on the CL. Actually, I traded for two years the big ES with no indicator, just the chart, empty chart. And uh, it was the best education ever. Uh, and until now, if I need to examine the um, the CL or the ES, I prefer no color in the chart. I like to look at just the bar, and I can immediately identify what's going on without any indicator. So if you have a time, try to put an empty chart. Take you three trades a day on an empty chart. That will really help you. It's not good for my business, but that's what really gets you start to learn the rhythm in the market. Oh, let's go back on the ES. I forgot. So right now, uh, there is a new target. There we go. If we notice the older system, the older uh, target was somewhere around that area. 18 level, and now the system is telling us there is a new calculation on the target. I don't have to do any thinking anymore. The system calculate, recalculate for me, and now we are on the 22 level. This is your target. So it's updating you constantly what's going on in the market. Your re entry point is recalculating, your trading stop is your fib line. This is the way to do it, uh, guys. This is the way to do it. Using too many indicators based on the past bar is not healthy when you are trading futures. So now the uh, target is 28.22. And um, Folks, uh, we've uh, been over two hours, and um, I just got back. And uh, even I don't have full installation on my computer from the summer break. Uh, uh, again, I will be trying to cover tomorrow uh, some tricks about reversals which I'm a very reversal man. I love reversals, and they are based on a Renko bar. I like to trade the trend with minutes. I like to reverse the market with Renko bar. And tomorrow I will reveal 
uh, some basic even probably with your own indicator you can do it and uh, that will help you uh, also because uh, the, actually uh, the money is in the reversal uh, but uh, also we have an auto trade reversal and um, and if you want to trade with the trend always uh, this is what i've been using for many years identify trend pull back re-entry very simple identify trend pull back re-entry do not take a trade on the first breakout again do not take a trade on the first breakout uh, this is a very simple uh, method you can follow it and now we can see this um, uh, this uh, EIS is a flirting between those two numbers, so hopefully now we're getting a new extra tick on the target. So we're gonna go ahead and add one more tick, a couple ticks. The scalpers are doing very fine. The one minute, there we go. I, I mean, they are the same strategy on the scalper. Uh, why today the one minute? made more money than the 150 takes is the same auto trade uh, because of the market movement you know it's nothing to do with your auto trade uh, could be tomorrow your 150 on the scalper we only use two time frame one minute 150 takes very simple straightforward one minute conservative 150 takes um, uh, aggressive so uh because the way this market moving today the minute made more money but it does not mean the minute is always better than the takes because could be tomorrow the takes are doing better than the one minute it's again it's the same auto trade but it is depends on the market movement and the market chart how the es is moving forward backward flat and that all has impact on your chart and your automated trading. So it is very important to kick the tires before you start auto trading in the morning. Folks, I'm uh, really uh, drained and, um, and uh, I will be calling it off for today. And uh, uh, I will uh, the link for live uh, tomorrow on the air. And uh, hopefully I will make it uh, next week and I will be every day uh, on um, at 10 o'clock. I will be um, going live so we can direct you in this business. God bless you all. Be safe and I'll see you another day. Bye for now.